here are some engagement and content ideas for you to consider when um, promoting and planning your live event. And I'm going to take you through each of them, you know, and when relevant, I'm going to also show you like how you can actually realize this um, in Flux Panda. There are some of them where we have some tools built in that might help you. Um, so the first one is to use some sort of um, scarcity, well, not some sort of, but like actually use scarcity as a tool to create excitement um, for your upcoming live event. Um, that could be a limited collection that you're about to launch, maybe uh, the first come get something, coupon, discount, like maybe if they sign up, they can avail something special. Um, it's happening only this Friday. You know, it's only happening once. It's never going to happen again. Who knows? Um, so scarcity is a great tactic that you can use in your marketing in order to make it, you know, yeah, important to actually join um, the live event. Now, by talking about this a little bit, um, or by, by, by speaking about this, I'm thinking that the important thing also to consider is that don't necessarily see it as a marketing event, you know, which is like, you know, one hour live and something happens. You can do that with the scarcity. You can build up to that and you can really like build hype for people to come at a specific time and join in. But another format to use is like really being live for a longer duration and, you know, just having people join in, like kind of like reacting to people when they come, ask them questions, you know. So it depends a little bit probably on the size of your audience. If you have a large customer base and you know, get a lot of people to join into the live, you can go live for a shorter period of time, half an hour, an hour, who knows? You use scarcity to like make it really, you know, like burning to like uh, join at a specific time. Um, and yeah, there are some ideas that you can use uh, to build that up. Then um, limited access, kind of like also around that topic of scarcity. Uh, so maybe you have some sort of a registration page or landing page where, you know, you have like an evergreen countdown <laughs> that always shows it's only five left, you know, but when you register, it makes one less for that person. Who knows? I mean, there are lots of tools on how to do this, like, you know, uh, lead pages and all that kind of stuff um, to yeah create some sort of like hype around the event uh, and create some sort of like limit to it. Again, a scarcity tactic. Um, then definitely sales discounts, special deals, Black Friday, yellow, white, I don't know. Um, that's definitely a cool idea um, to use for yeah, promoting and creating some, some traction around your live event. Um, what's special about it, I guess it's the deal and the discounts that you have to offer uh, in order to you know, attract people. So it's not so much of a scarcity thing, but more like, hey, you know, there is like a really good deal if you join at that time which you can't avail usually, right? I mean, it's all marketing, of course. Um, special guests, um, that definitely can be something interesting. Like, you know, I mean, like those guys, they invited like a special guest, which was a puppy. Um, but for sure, you know, it could be like a celebrity, an influencer, um, I don't know, like some someone to have some interesting topic to talk about. Um, so that's again, like about producing the content that's related and relevant to your product that's interesting that people want to see and that they want to consume. So it's not about only hard selling. Um, it can also be, of course, about delivering great and interesting content. Um, then anything that, um, again, is about around like uh, tutorials, classes, clinics, um, consultations, um, especially with our uh, functionality where guests can join as a co-host uh, and speak and actually present the video. Um, so consultations across like a big group, right? So like you can have like a thousand people in there, but then you can invite one of the guests as a speaker onto the stage um, and, um, you know, have some sort of like an instant consultation going on or like answering um, their questions. So I think those things, the tutorials, classes, clinics, consultations work really well with our guest and audience uh, calling functionality, as mentioned, where people from the audience can actually come onto the stage and join your life. Um, so it's it's a great way to create content and create engagement. And what can be better than, it's like watching the TV and someone calling in, right? So like it's still like a million people watching at their life, all of a sudden someone is talking. So that can be fun and engaging for sure. So have a think about those kind of like content concepts um, because that's definitely something our solution can support quite nicely. Um, then giveaway, and contests, 
Um, so there are a couple of tools that we have, of course. We have the Lucky Draw. Um, so that's the thing that you can you know, launch over here under the apps. You can do the Lucky Draw. Um, we have the coupon, which is also under the uh, available uh, under apps, which you can configure to like um, launch coupons, uh, static coupons. We have an API where you can even customize those coupons, like integrate with your e-commerce if you want. You can go crazy. Um, you can use the guest access, actually, for giveaway and contest. You can say, hey, the first one who joins or the first three people to join the stage, you know, get something. You know, and that kind of like makes people a, join the stage, but you can actually use it as a small mechanic um, to to yeah pick people um, as uh, winners or something or get them something. Um, and then we also have the countdown deal, which is the one that you can attach to um, the products. So we have it over here, the countdown deal, and this means you can um, maybe reduce the price of the product for a specific uh, period of time, and uh, when the countdown runs. Out, the product is gone and you know no more it's available on on that special price um, yeah so these are some ideas and again like we have uh, all the tools to to realize those things built in um, influence announcements uh, so this is about more about the promotional aspect I suppose um, of course you can invite influencers you can have like influencers promoting the event um, and I, I see two things there, right? So this can happen like before or even during, right? Where they, I mean, when you're live, they can go also live or like make a post or whatever. Um, but I, I think that's a great way to like reach new audiences, right? So like based on, you know, relevancy to your product, you can like reach those influencers. They can make a live to promote your life, you know, maybe a video post, uh, video post to promote your life, leading up to it, building some excitement, um, and then they can speak about what's going to happen in that life, right? So again, like what's going to be the special thing that's going to happen? Is it going to be discounts? Is it going to be some uh, reveal of some new product and so forth? So that's another uh, way to get some traction. Um, and then here, <laughs> I like this one. It's the live to announce the live. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, so, I mean, if you go on YouTube, right, and there is like a big keynote or um, like a like a report that's coming up, you will usually see in some sort of like a screen that, you know, runs and says that maybe there's a countdown or there is like some, you know, they show the White House, you know, before the president comes and all that. Um, so you could uh, you could do the same thing, right? So you don't have to go live exactly at the time, but you could like go live before. And instead of just like showing a screen, you can actually show, I don't know, show the studio, show what's going on. Um, have some um, some clock there, have an animation, whatever. Um, so all this also is possible um, using our system. Uh, you can have there are a bunch of ways. I'm going to like touch on them briefly, but like one of them is obviously as I showed um, the recording, right? So because if a session is not live, it will show the recording if you have uploaded one. And as soon as you go live, the recording will go and the live will appear, right? So I think that where you can actually create a, a recording that promotes the live or that is some sort of like a animation. Um, and as soon as you go live, that video will be gone and everyone watching that video at the time will all of a sudden be in the live, right? So that's a functionality we have. Um, the other one that you can also use is the, um, the, you can use OBS, you know, to like ingest some countdowns or I don't know, uh, some camera from another angle. Um, yeah, so all this is possible, but it's about going live before you actually start the live, right? And um, not only on your website, Flux Panda, in the widget that you deploy on social media, who knows, but you can also go live on other platforms, right? You can restream from our system to Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Uh, you can go live on your Instagram account. And again, just promote the life and like make people get excited about what is going to happen. Um, share and win. Um, so this is also something that could be done with our coupon generator and the API where you can say, hey, if you invite a friend, you can win something. Um, if your friend actually joins, maybe you get a discount, you know, so like there are different mechanics that can be explored, um, again, to create some sort of a viral effect. Um, and yeah, so I think that's a great way to like spread the word 
um, and get people excited. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> These are all the ideas that we have for this part. And uh, we're going to make another video where we're going to talk a bit more about the actual production and the promotion of the event before, during and after.